Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Today, uh, we're back home. We are going to do the second part of our propane filling videos. And we're going to take this tank, fill up this tank with this guy. This is kind of what we're going to need. Uh, I, I couldn't really do the videos because I was running short on time and my scale uh, had been broken. So, as you saw in one of the previous videos, I bought another one while I was out of town. I'll include a link in there uh, for that and also for the uh, adapter uh, that allows you to fill these tanks as well uh, through Amazon. So, okay guys, now we're back. This is a tank I've already had out. It has not been chilled or refrigerated. This is one I pulled out of my freezer. There are those that say you don't have to do this and that is fine if that's the way they want to do it. I try to refrigerate all of my tanks uh, when I do the swap. We're going to get ready, get everything set up, guys. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. We've got this thing uh, screwed on here. This is a reverse thread, so remember, uh, righty is not tidy, uh, lefty is tidy. So, we got it in, got it snugged up with the adjustable wrench. Now, a couple of safety concerns. Because the liquid propane is so cold, we're going to be wearing gloves, and also uh, because it has that peculiar odor that has been added to it and uh, we will give a participation trophy to anyone who can name the chemical that's added to it without looking it up I look it up if you need to but what's the name of the chemical that's added to it to give it its odor because naturally uh, liquid propane is odorless but we're going to wear gloves. Obviously, you just saw me. We're wearing safety glasses. We're going to flip this tank over, and we're going to get started. More to come. Okay, guys. This is the empty tank. It should weigh a uh, pound, something like that. It weighs one pound, one ounce. So, there is a little bit of propane in this thing. That's okay. It's still really cold. What we're going to do is fill it up. Uh, we want to add about a pound to it. Uh, about 60 seconds with the valve open we'll fill it and we will check some people fill it until it quits hissing I try to do about 60 seconds and then we'll check and then we can reattach as we need to the tank as you can see has been filled upside down and we're going to attach it so okay guys I've already got this attached I'm going to tip this tank back crack the valve And we'll start counting. Okay, guys, now we're done. And oddly enough, it just about quit hissing right at a minute. We're going to close the valve. And we're wearing our gloves and our eye protection. I have the tank pointed away from me because in addition to being a tank, this thing's a rocket. So, if something should happen, it's not going to hit us. Now, there we go. A little bit of propane was vented, but that's just the cost of doing business. We will weigh the tank. And uh, we got about seven ounces out of this. But that's about half filled. So what we're going to do going is to we're going to try to fill it. Take this thing out. There. We're wearing gloves. We did bend a little bit, but that's the cost of doing business. And we were able to put in almost 12 ounces of propane, which is pretty dang good in my opinion. Well, we'll refill another one. Okay, so, guys. Okay. Before we fill the other tank, dry off a spot here, and I'm going to put a mark here, right there. And they say that ideally you really don't want to fill these tanks up more than five times that if you subscribe to that 
that will give you an indication and a count of how many times you fill this tank up. So, more this count. is the next tank that we're going to fill. We're just going to fill a couple of these, and I want to show you this one uh, in particular. away from me and it's filling more time okay guys I want to show you this this is the one that we just filled up I did not fill much into this one but I did want to show you it's leaking safety valve on this one has been popped this tank is no good so we would mark this one as bad and we would dispose of it have it recycled so I knew this one was bad this is why I wanted to show you uh, you see that right there uh, bubbling in the bottom of it that is the fuel leaking out bad tank stay away from it more time All right, guys, so that is going to wrap it up for us. I appreciate you uh, taking a look at the video. And I was really, oddly enough, I was excited when I found a bad tank so I could show you how to check the tank, how to check the pop-off valve, and uh, what it does when it is leaking. And you'll see it's just bubbling out right there. That's just what it does. So watch out for these tanks. Always test your tanks when you get through. Uh, filling them is just the smart thing to do. I don't see why pe more people don't do it. There we go. And that one is holding just fine. That's going to be it for us guys. Over here, just a second picture of my ugly mug and my beautiful wife is going to pop up. That is the subscribe button on the opposite side. Here's going to be some videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky. Take a look at them. Thanks for watching guys. Take care of your people.